a group of women who claim they were sexually assaulted by the American comedian Bill Cosby are tonight telling us they will continue to seek justice. The TV star, who's always denied the claims, was freed from jail in 2021 after his one and only conviction was overturned on appeal. His alleged victims recently gathered at a trauma therapy retreat as part of a documentary to be shown on ITVX from Thursday. One of them, Stacey Pinkerton, says they are determined Bill Cosby's release won't be the end of it, even if it means changing the law in America. She told our arts editor Nina Nanar, we won't stop until there is accountability. This is Bill Cosby's house and this is the room that he took me to right here. They call themselves sister survivors, women who've all publicly spoken out against Bill Cosby. And for the first time, they've been brought together at a special retreat with a trauma therapist, part of a new documentary. I felt very guilty when I found out there were other women. Amongst them, Stacey Pinkerton, who says she was drugged and raped by the star in 1986 when she was 21 and an aspiring actress and model. She has literally gone to great lengths to get away from Bill Cosby, leaving her home in America and settling in Spain. I was not handling so well seeing this person on television. And I decided the best thing for me to do was just move, and I kept moving. And I missed out on family and relationships with my family and left everything. I left my work, my, my health insurance, everything and um, I suffered a lot I struggled a lot it's not imposing have a little dinner with the Huxtable family Bill Cosby was once known as America's dad a TV superstar in the 80s and 90s worth an estimated 400 million dollars but since then more than 60 women have come forward alleging sexual assault against him only one case brought by former basketball player Andrea Constant in 2018 has resulted in a criminal conviction. But that was overturned in 2021. And the comedian was released from prison after an appeal court judge said an apparent non-prosecution deal Cosby had made earlier should stand. Some of his accusers are now campaigning to change America's statute of limitations, which limits the time claimants have to bring a case. A lot of people may have thought when Bill Cosby walked out of prison, having had a successful appeal, that that was the end of it. But it's far from the end of it, isn't it? We're not going to stop. We're not going to stop ever um, until there is accountability and, and justice. It, but it's a campaign that literally involves you changing the law. We need to define consent and r remove the statute of limitations. There should not be a time limit and an arbitrary time limit on such hideous crimes as such, as this is a lifelong sentence for, for victims of sexual assault. His accusers are standing together. Hi, beautiful. Hey, Andrea, how are you? Taking strength from Andrea Constand, the only one of them who has so far faced Bill Cosby in court. It took that retreat to really kind of open my eyes up. And, and it was uncomfortable and painful. I'm so happy that we were able to come together and, and, and do that. And hopefully that we can continue. Pictured here earlier this year, Cosby has denied all the allegations against him. But Stacey Pinkerton is now amongst a growing number of women who are suing him. How did you react when you heard him talking about potentially going back on tour? You have to be quite a narcissist, a malignant narcissist, to believe your own lies for so long and think you can continue as if nothing happened. What these women say happened to them has brought them together at this retreat, but their moments of laughter hide a steely determination to be heard. Nina Nanar, ITV News.